Can an Su-35 land on an aircraft carrier? It's not impossible for the Su-35 to touch down onto the carrier deck but the issue would be with stopping. The Su-35 doesn't come with any kind of arresting hook for catching the arresting cables. And don't think a braking parachute from the tail is going to slow it down fast enough on the deck. The landing gear aren't strengthened for the harder deck landing so risk damaging them trying to land and slow down that quickly. But still need to figure out how to stop so suddenly which doesn't seem feasible for the Su-35. It's why Russian military have the Su-33 version for carrier operations. There were plans to retire the Su-33 and focus on using MiG-29Ks exclusively. The Suhoi Su-35 is the designation for two improved derivatives of the Su-27 air defense fighter. They are single-seat, twin-engine, supermaneuverable aircraft, designed by the Suhoi Design Bureau and built by the Suhoi. The type was originally developed by the Soviet Union from the Su-27 and was known as the Su-27M. It incorporated canards and a multi-function radar giving it multi-role capabilities. The first prototype made its maiden flight in June 1988. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union Suhoi re-designated it as the Su-35 to attract export orders. Fourteen aircraft were produced and used for tests and demonstrations. One example had thrust vectoring engines and was in turn redesignated the Su-37. A sole Su-35 UB two-seat trainer was also built in the late 1990s that resembled the Su-30MK family. In 2003, Suhoi embarked on a second modernization of the Su-27 to serve as an interim aircraft awaiting the development of the Suhoi Pak FA, Su-57, program. Also known as the Su-35, this version has a redesigned cockpit and weapons control system and features thrust vectoring engines in place of the canards. The type made its first flight in February 2008. Although it was designed for export, the Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009, with the production version designated Su-35S. China's People's Liberation Army Air Force have also placed orders. That's the information for today, see you at the next military information, so that we are more enthusiastic about providing the latest information for you. Thank you for watching to the end.